What's up you guys, it's Levi here. Today I'm doing a continuation of this series where I talk about how to use a VPN and today I'll be specifically focusing on how to use a VPN and set up a VPN on a Mac. Yeah, that's right, you guys heard me right, a Mac. I specifically got a brand new Mac Mini two weeks ago just to put this video out for you guys. So congratulations, you guys will be the very first group of people to see me do a tutorial on a Mac on YouTube. All right, so today I'll be showing you a step-by-step, -step, in-depth guide from start to finish on how to set up a VPN and how to use that VPN. I'll be specifically talking about using ExpressVPN on a Mac. If you're not sure what a VPN is or you wanna know more about why you need a VPN, check out my video down below in the description on everything you guys need to know about a VPN. I'm also doing a video for each and every single major device type. So I currently have a video out for Windows and PCs, and then I will be coming out with a video very, very soon on Android and iOS devices. So stay tuned and make sure if you haven't already that you're hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you guys can be notified as soon as those videos come out. And while you're on the way, since it's already there, make sure you're smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people can see this content and learn from this content. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. All right, welcome to my very first Mac video on the Cybersecurity Education Channel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing that you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna scroll all the way down to the description and hit this link right here to install ExpressVPN. By using that link in the description, you guys will get a free 30-day trial, and you'll also help me out by giving me a referral bonus, um, which I would gladly appreciate. And while you're going down to the bottom of that video, make sure that you're smashing that like button for the YouTube as well, since so it's already on the way. All right, so click that link, and you're going to want to smash that get 30 days free button here. And then you can see the various options that ExpressVPN offers. It has a one month option, a 12 month option, and a six months option. Um, as you can see up here, like I said, it has a 100% money back guarantee for your first 30 days. So if you sign up for ExpressVPN and you decide within those 30 days that you do not like ExpressVPN, you owe them absolutely no money. You just cancel and you're on with your life. No money down. Me personally, I like to use the 12-month option because it is the cheapest option. I use ExpressVPN all year round, but I highly suggest that you guys use the one-month option getting started out. Uh, just so that you can test out ExpressVPN. You'll get those 30 days free plus a month after that. So you'll actually get two months. So go ahead and select that option. Um, and then you'll scroll down. And you'll enter your email address. And then you'll enter your payment information. Uh, once you enter that information, there'll be a button to submit. And then you'll go through a normal account sign-up process that you would for any other site where you have to set a password and they'll send you an email and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I cannot show you how to do that because I already have an ExpressVPN account that I paid for and I really don't want to pay for ExpressVPN to set up another account for you guys. So you guys will have to do that yourself. It's pretty basic. It's like any other account sign-up. Um, if you guys have any questions, though, leave them down below. I'd love to answer them for you. All right, so once you go through that account sign-up process, um, you can go ahead and go to expressvpn.com up here, um, and then go ahead and click on that My Account button here. Once you click on that My Account button, go ahead and use that email address and password that you created to sign in and hit that Sign In button. All right, so now you'll get to a page like this after you sign in. 
Um, one thing to note is down here in this corner, I have it covered up, but it's your activation code that you will be using very, very shortly to activate ExpressVPN. So you'll want to leave this page up so that you can copy this off of the page. All right, so now the next step is, is to download ExpressVPN for Mac by clicking this download for Mac button. So you'll hit that. You can see it's downloading down here, down in the download section. Go ahead and hit that, and then hit your ExpressVPN icon here. All right, and then you're gonna get a prompt that says this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Of course we wanna click that allow button to install it because we know that this is legit. And you got the same message that comes up again, click allow again. All right, so we're to the introduction. You're just gonna go ahead and click continue here. You can read this if you want. It's gonna tell you how much space you're gonna use. You go ahead and click install. And then go ahead and type in your password to your computer. It has to be an administrator account to be able to install this. And then go ahead and hit that install software button and wait for it to install. And with the power of video editing, the install is magically done. The install was so short, I didn't even have to magically edit it because it went fast. So hopefully it goes as fast as, as it did for me, for you. All right, so you can see the installation was successful. So we have ExpressVPN installed. We're gonna close it. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna move the installer to the trash, which I'm gonna do because we don't need the installer anymore. All right, so we got ExpressVPN installed. Let's go ahead and sign in to ExpressVPN. So we'll hit that sign in button. All right, remember on the page before where I said you were gonna need that code? That code is down here. I have mine covered up because I don't want you guys to see it and use mine. <laughs> but copy that code into your ExpressVPN prompt that came up. So you'll go back down to that ExpressVPN here after you copied the code here and open that sucker back up. I'm gonna copy and paste this in here and click sign in, but I'm not gonna show you the code because I don't want you guys to see it, so I'll skip that. But just click sign in after you're done putting in that code. All right, so after you hit that sign in button, you're gonna get this set up your VPN prompt here. Uh, just go ahead and click continue. It's gonna ask you, would you like to allow ExpressVPN to add to your VPN configurations, of course you wanna allow that so that you can use ExpressVPN, so click allow. And then there's an option where you can launch ExpressVPN on startup. It's up to you whether you wanna do this or not. I personally am not going to do this on this machine because I don't use this machine for travel and I don't need ExpressVPN on all the time. But if you're somebody that wants ExpressVPN on all the time, then you'll wanna make sure that you set it up to be okay on startup. I'm gonna click no thanks because I don't want it on all the time. All right, and then it's gonna ask you if you wanna improve ExpressVPN. I'm gonna click no thanks. It's up to you whether you wanna do that or not. All right, so now we finally got to the meat and potatoes of ExpressVPN. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do in ExpressVPN is set a location. And you can do that by clicking these little three dots over on the side here. Um, you can see that you have a bunch of recommended locations here. I always like to go to the All tab over here. All right, so you can see that there's different options for countries here. Um, the first option that we'll choose is I'll just pick some place in America, and I'll go in the United States, and let's just say I want to be in Dallas. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Dallas here. All right, so once I click on Dallas here, um, and I go back to this little red button here and click that red button to connect and by clicking that red button um, every time i visit a website or an application that goes out to the internet it's going to think i'm located in dallas from now on and the, the way to prove that is is to go to what's my ip address.com all right so once you go to what's my ip address.com you can see down here that the city is Dallas, Texas. And then you can see your IP address here. Um, if you really wanted to check the difference, you could go to this whatsmyipaddress.com before you turn on ExpressVPN and see what your actual IP address and location is down here. Um, and then turn on the VPN and then go back to this page and see your new IP address and location to make sure that it's actually changed. 
I do not want to show you what my IP address is, so that's why I did not do that, but I highly recommend that you do that if you want to verify that it's actually working. All right, so the United States is not the only option for you guys, so you want to go to Germany, let's say. You want to be presenting to other sites and applications as if you're in Germany, so you can go back down to this ExpressVPN icon down here. Um, we'll just go ahead and disconnect it by clicking that green button, and it turns red. Um, and then you'll go back to the three dots over here. We'll go back to all, uh, get out of the Americas. We'll go to Europe, go to Germany, expand it out. I want to be in Frankfurt, Germany. You can see there's multiple servers in Frankfurt. We'll just pick the first one, select that puppy, and then go ahead and smash that red button. Just like you guys should be smashing that like button while you're waiting. <laughs> And we're connected to Germany. So then we can go ahead and test this out to make sure that we're actually connected to Germany. Go back to whatsmyipaddress.com. Refresh the page. Boom! We're in Germany. Life is good. ExpressVPN is connected. If only I could have a German beer sent to me while I'm in Germany. All right, and then once you're ready to disconnect from ExpressVPN, you just have to go back down to this ExpressVPN icon down here, open it up, click that little red button there, <laughs> green button, I mean, and you're no longer connected to ExpressVPN, and from there on until you connect again, you'll be browsing as if you're from your home location or wherever you're at at the current time. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys found this tutorial super, super useful to you guys. Make sure if you like this content that you're sharing it with as many people as possible, that you're smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm and that you're hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell as all of these actions help promote this content on this channel up on YouTube to more people and my goal is to have as many people watching this channel as possible so that the world can be more cyber secure and that you guys can win and have a happy life and the cyber hackers out there or what we like to call the pirates on this channel have to go find a real job and aren't hurting people like you all so make sure you take those actions to help the channel out if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. I'll post my handle down below. I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.